Local gay rights activists post on Facebook that he had been kidnapped. Friends and family of Adam Hoover have flooded social media overnight in multiple police departments searching for him. Eventually, they were able to find him near the Indiana border, but police say it was a hoax. Our source, not on your side, Allie Kramer, has been following the story all day long. She says that the Hamilton County Sheriff's Department just within the last few minutes has updated her on this information. Detectives have actually been interviewing Adam Hoover for more than four hours now, and now he was. Now we've learned that it was a hoax. Police say that Hoover was never actually abducted. But here's the Facebook post that was shared on Adam's page. Now the post reads, please help me. I'm in the trunk of my car, the Ford Escort. They said that they are going to kill my family. He also tweeted a plea for help and shared it was more than a thousand times. He included telephone numbers to contact his family. Adam's mom told us that she was terrified during this ordeal. She joined in in the multi-agency search for her 20-year-old son. Adam's red Ford Escort was found near US 50 near the state line. Adam was not in the car at the time, but he was located nearby. Adam is known within the community for his work with gay rights activists. Now, he spoke with us about some stories that we have worked on in the past several times. So Hoover is now going to be charged with making false alarms, as that is a misdemeanor. We're working to talk to with authorities about their interview and how they came to this conclusion. The story will continue to follow, not only on air, but also online at WCPO.com.